I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach podcast. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach, and today in the hot seat we have Nino. Now Nino has sent a long question, so bear with me while we read it out. Okay, I might make a few mistakes, but let's go for it. She says, "Hi Ashton. First of all, I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I have learned a lot from you and your journey, and still is on it. I am a working mother, so usually do not get much time. But as I have learned the habit stacking from you, I ensure while making rotis, I must listen to your podcast. And now it's Monday to Thursday morning ritual for me. Yay! So happy you do this. Thank you. I never miss a single episode, and on the same day, I listen to you when you broadcast it. Okay. Now I think I'll come to my question." Ashton, I'm a middle-class working woman with lots of dreams and ambition. I have a son of five years old. My husband cares for me a lot, but the only thing which I can or not accept is his drinking habit. It's like fixed. Every week, three times, he will come drunk, and the rest of the days from office work, he reaches home late. Every time, he promises me that now he will not drink, but I am seriously too fed up with this behavior, and sometimes I feel like I should leave this man, but deep down inside, I can't because I do care for him. I understand that feeling completely. You know, it's so important to to realize that when somebody is that you still love somebody and you care for the person, but you have to learn where to draw lines on this as well. How to make him realize that what my family and what we as a family are losing—the time we could spend together with our son, the quality time that we both could spend together, and whatnot. Not sure whether you've read this or you would like to take this up in your episode, but thank you anyway. I'm very fed up. The biggest challenge of what I'm facing, I'm losing my temper when I see him drunk, even after so many times that he's promised. What should I do, Ashton? It's killing me every day. So the most important thing is that when we identify habits like this in our family, the way that we start thinking about them is we first ask politely, and then we start losing our temper. And that's exactly where Nino is right now. Right? She's losing her temper. She has no idea what to do. She's fed up. She's frustrated. And the reason she's frustrated is. one very fundamental thing frustration is what i define as wishing the other person changes if you wish and your desire is to have somebody else change nothing is going to happen because the other person will not change just on your whims and fancies as a result what happens we start getting more upset and more angry then we start becoming nagging and i'm sure nino would have also experienced this somebody would have told her nagging she would have think or thought of herself as nagging as well this is because we want to see our loved ones do better in life and they don't want to see that happen to them so let's first understand what a bad habit is so drinking coming home drunk is excessiveness it's an addiction if he's doing it all the time so understanding what is the root cause of this behavior is very very important you know we all don't often realize this but our loved ones are going through their own hidden struggles they are going through their own journey that they very often don't share with us because they don't feel safe to share it with us it's either a belief system that they have in their mind that uh, whatever they say will be taken advantage of um, that it shows weakness whatever it is most of our loved ones do not actually tell us how they are feeling if you think about it we know very little about them what was their childhood like are they carrying some trauma from childhood is the husband wishing for a completely different life all together what are those things that are going through his mind why does he need the escape of alcohol and more importantly why does he need to rely on it in order to live life the way that he is doing currently so the way that i would approach this is not tell him or ask him about his alcohol for a month or two okay if he comes home drunk no problem you just be your kind loving caring self when he is not drunk that's when you slowly slowly start asking him and start creating a safe space what is a safe space a safe space is a place where you can have conversations without the fear of judgment a safe space is when people can say things and not feel that it's going to be used against them later on in life a safe space is a place where you can be your authentic self without your walls without your barriers without your masks on okay so in order to come to this kind of a conversation will take a very very long time especially if it's not there currently and you have to become very very sensitive about this fact you have to practice this you have to read up about how to create safe spaces how should you start sharing about your life as well deep secrets deep desires that you have not told anybody because we all have these it's a part of our human nature just like that so does he in order to understand this you must 
start creating the safe space slowly slowly what you do is you change the life that he is living where he no longer requires this kind of alcohol and then he will drop it himself you know i've worked with a number of clients who had very very similar addictions every time they would drink they would come back drunk they would not necessarily drink every day but very often for many parts of their many months of their life they did that they drank every single day what were they coming away from they were using that alcohol as a way of finishing the working day that my working day is over enough now now it is time for me and very often when it becomes that time for me there is no control that takes place afterwards so what is it that is troubling him is it because his work is as an issue at work is it something that happened in his life in the past is it something about the marriage whatever it is right now is something that you need to have a conversation about create a safe space so that he can share this with you i know this is a question that many many people ask and we often dismiss the person as good for nothing we dismiss the person as useless we dismiss the person as you know self sabotaging doing this to himself but not realizing that very often these bad kind of bad habits are actually crutches for something far worse that is happening deep down inside it could be a way of numbing that pain and as all human beings you want to move away from pain in whatever way that we can so i know this is a hard conversation to have which is why we are having this conversation and whether it is you see yourself in ninu's place it's important for you to start making these changes and creating a safe space for you and your family you will be amazed that this little investment pays huge dividends much down the road all right if you want to be featured on the next habit coach hot seat don't forget to um check out the link in the description below click on it and then just ask me a question just like you know a long nice question so i understand exactly what your problem is and i can help you out i hope this helps i am ashton doctor your habit coach and remember awesome lives they start with awesome habits Usually in a podcast it's me who speaks to you and you who listens but i've been seeing your comments and it's time it's me listening to you following the overwhelming success of this podcast the good folks at ivm podcast network have decided to come up with a kannada adaptation of the show for those who prefer listening to it in that language do make sure you let your kannada speaking friends know about this as well so start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag the habit coach if you like this podcast don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the ivm network you can listen to us on the ivm podcast app or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcasts on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am ashden doc on twitter and instagram you can find lots more information on my website awesome180.com or check out different content on my youtube channel called a w e s o m e 180 that's awesome180 hey everybody it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network on the habit coach ashton talks to holistic health coach chris gibson about the various aspects of skin care routines On the longest constitution Priya deconstructs an important judgment on reservations with the Indra Soni case. On Ikaduka economy Abhinav and Dr. Bharat Junjunwala analyze how the dynamics of a typical government job have changed over the years. And on the life manifestos Rina teaches us how we can become better decision makers. Do follow us on social media where IVM podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter please do tell a friend. We really do appreciate the word of mouth. Also, don't forget to rate us on any of the platforms that you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever it is. And we are also on YouTube. On YouTube, you can check out our various channels on ivmpodcast.com/youtube. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda and CoinSwitch Kuber. Thank you for making this possible. Remember the days when our granny used to narrate once upon a time stories? Let's bring back the good old days of moral stories. with story time tamil hi i am ravishankar balachandran host of story time tamil podcast i would like you to entertain and educate your children with stories from story time tamil tune in to the new episode sharp at 7 pm every day on ivm website ivm podcast app youtube channel or wherever you get your podcast from